Hello, and welcome to Get a Little Creative. I'm Becky Ferrant. I'm Jen Hadfield. And I'm Heather Mann. We like to bring you the coolest craft ideas, the best creative blogs, and simple projects that anyone can do. And today's hot topic is knockoffs. So that sounds to me like something that someone's going to approach you from an alley and be like, hey, do you want to buy a knockoff? Can you just tell me what is a knockoff? Okay, I'll say it's not really, um, it's, that sounds like a kind of negative term, but what it really is, is using inspiration that you find elsewhere. It could be in design magazines, it could be in books, it could be in nature, it could be, you know, as you're walking, the, you know, in the city, it's just something that's inspired by something else. So it's kind of another word for inspiration. Sure, I'm I think so. using it as kind of a cute term for yeah. inspiration. In okay. Yeah, but we'll say knockoff for this segment. Okay. How's that? Okay. <laughs> hey, I have heard that there's a little bit of controversy regarding knockoffs. Heather, have you heard yeah, anything about yeah. that? Yeah, some people are unhappy with the, some bloggers are doing knockoffs of designer catalog mm -hmm. items like Pottery Barn catalog or um, the West Elm catalog. Some bloggers will do projects that are basically like almost exact copies of these items they see in the catalogs. And some people think it's unethical to just copy a project and um, and post it. And okay, well, yeah. my site, I, I have a site it's called Knockoff Decor. It's all about that. But my tagline is the um, Knockoff Decor because imitation is the highest form of flattery, and I really do believe that. Um, I think um, you know there's an, the designers from these catalogs are amazing. And I think it's very important when you are doing a project that's inspired by something else that you give credit where credit is due, absolutely. But I know, I mean, we, I've been knocked off. I've seen some of my original projects that have been on Etsy, and it really takes you back a little bit to, to what do you really believe about it. And for me, and I think I can speak for you guys too, um, our um, mantra or our desire with blogging is really to inspire people to create. And so when someone sends me a project and says, hey, I totally, you know, you used exactly what you did, you know, blah, blah, blah. I did this. I wanted to show you a picture. That makes my day. That inspires me to keep being a creative person. I don't know. Do you guys yeah, feel that way? I, I love seeing my, my whole thing about blogging is I love crafting and I like designing projects, but what I really like doing is seeing people create and get Take that step right. towards creating, especially if they think they're not crafty or they think they're not creative. Anything I can do, if I can design a project and they'll copy it exactly, I'm totally happy. I think That's it's very, I don't you think it's very empowering when you make something? Part of yeah. blogging is when someone will send me the same project or, you know, my friends and I got together and we made some, you know, your wreaths at, at a craft night. And, and they always one-up you. You're like, damn it. Know. Yeah, and, and they put like their own really spin on it idea. sometimes and it's, it's even it better than mine. And I'm like, yay, yeah. go for it. Exactly. Yeah, and I, I think, that. you know, that's what the show is about really too, is inspiring right. you to get out there and be creative because that's something that we're really passionate about. And I hope you see that, you know, <laughs> that that's why we're doing this. So yeah. Okay, so Becky, you have a blog that's all about knocking off things. I do. Right. You feature other people, but you've also done some original projects. I have. Yeah. So original my my favorite thing. project was a little toy chest that you made and you had the well tell us about okay. it. Okay. So um, my father-in-law when my husband and I got married 13 years ago made this oak chest and it was like a hope chest. Had a lid on it and I, I really liked it but I, I noticed it was starting to be like in my closet, you know, cuz it wasn't really <laughs> matching with my decor and it made me sad because, you know, my father-in-law made it. What I really needed at the time was a toy box. You know, I then I had a you know, a four-year-old and a one-year-old and toys out the yin-yang. And so <laughs> I needed a toy box. And so what I did was I removed the lid and I simply framed out the lip of it. And it was inspired by Pottery Barn Kids. They had a Turner, it was called the Turner Toy Chest. And it sold for several hundred dollars. And that was my inspiration piece. Um, and so I think it was, I mean, if I worked for Pottery Barn, I think it would be really cool for them to say, wow, she took something, you know, put her own spin on it, used my inspiration piece, and made something that's usable in her home. So that's kind of what the inspiration was for that toy chest. Yeah, that was a cool project. Thanks. I like that one too. My Thanks. favorite one that you've done was um, the the butcher paper, um, oh, what kitchen? do you call that? Uh, it was a drawing paper roll, and my original inspiration for that was from Ballard Designs. They had, they don't sell it anymore, but it was called the Junction Paper Holder, and it was made out of metal, actually, mm -hmm. and it held, um, like, some butcher paper, and I just had this spot in my kitchen that I thought would be perfect while I was um, cooking right. for my kids to be able to draw. So it's kind of like that. a thing you hang on the wall, oh. and then a yeah. roll of butcher paper down at it, the bottom. Actually, no, it's at the top, oh, okay. and it rolls okay. down, and then I... easel, kind of. Yeah, thing. and I ended 
up putting, you know, little buckets, you know, down there from Ikea that they have their crayons in there. Yeah, and it's just something, you know, that my kids use all the time, you know, to draw and things like that. And I can watch them while I'm cooking. And so, yeah, I was inspired by Ballard Designs and I made it, you know, for a fraction of the price. And it, I also did my own spin out where I had the, you know, little trays down there. Oh, so, cute. yeah. So, Becky, you're going to show us a, a knockoff project in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so when we get back, Becky is going to show us a really cool, cute little project that she did that it was inspired by a Pottery Barn Kids project. We are talking about knockoffs today, so I'm going to show you a simple project that you can do at home that actually any age could probably do. And what better place to get inspiration than Pottery Barn? Pottery Barn's designs are amazing, whether it's Pottery Barn Kids or Pottery Barn Teen or Pottery Barn. And um, what I found was a $129 canvas that had a heart shape to it and had little inspirational quotes on it. So what I did was I took um, little pieces of paper and glued them on and made something similar. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. What you do is you first just take magazines. I've got little kids, so I've got Family Fun, Pottery Barn Kids, a toy magazine, and you're just going to look for fun quotes or words that you kind of like. So I'm just going to take, um, and you just use scissors. And there's a cute little quote, a uh, little thing that says, wild about animals. And my kids are wild about animals. And since this is going to be something for a playroom, I thought that would be appropriate. And then you take a glue stick, and then you just put a little glue on the back, and then stick them on. And you want to cut out a bunch of different um, sizes and shapes of um, wording so that you can be able to fill in the small spaces. And it might help in the beginning if you cut out like a heart so you know exactly where to place your words or just fill up a piece of paper completely with words and then you won't have to worry about that. So what I did was I cut this out with my digital cutting machine. I cut out a heart, but you could also use an X-Acto knife, um, just trace a heart, cut it out. But this will act as a mat. And then all I did was I took my worded cardstock and I matted it with the heart and then I just stuck it in a frame and it looks like this. Now you could also totally cheat like I did as well and I just made color copies of these but then you don't have to kind of recreate everything again um, and then you could just cut out for your mat you could cut out like an I and then a heart and then a U or you can cut out your kids monogram and have three different sets of letters um, that would be really simple to do as well. So for $129, you can buy the Pottery Barn Kids version, or you can simply make it at home and have a fun family activity. So if you want to see more knockoff projects, I have a site. It's called Knockoff Decor, and I give you two amazing knockoff projects a day, so I'd love for you to join us. And please join us next time as we get a little creative.